Hey y'all, hey I want to give you some, a tip this morning. A customer brought in this 500 Sportsman. Uh, he just bought it and uh, wanted me to do a uh, once over. He said there was some clicking in the rear end that didn't have any brakes. Well, here I'm going to run down what I, uh, what I found and what you need to be leery about. This caliper's locked up and if you look, they just unbolted the rotor and left it in there. This one's missing a wheel stud. Not that big of a deal. However, brake rotor don't work. Or the brake caliper don't work. This side, the caliper is completely gone. And the brake hose is just hanging. The control up there is just hanging off. And both the rear axles are busted, the boots are busted and have been busted for a while and that's what the clicking is coming from. Got over here, took the cover off of it. He needs a belt. Now, I know what the customer paid for this and I feel, feel bad. And that's the reason I'm making this. And the point I'm trying to make is, and it has, you know, this aftermarket jungle website fart pipe on it that is extremely loud this guy's wanting to use this for hunting so if he wants to be stealthy in any way he's going to have to replace that because it is loud anyway point is oh hold on but if you turn on the headlights and flip that or turn on the key and flip that switch it has really nice underglow <laughs> so the point I'm trying to make is, you know, Royalty Auto is doing, no, that's not right. Dave's Auto is doing a series of what to look for, like a checklist for used cars and trucks. Um, I'm thinking about doing a checklist for used ATVs and side-by-sides. Let me know if that's something you guys are interested in, and I'll make a video for you. Uh, this one right here is, uh, it's totally fixable if you get it at the right price. And it's a whole lot better if you have the skill to do it yourself. Uh, this guy doesn't. He's a, a good friend. So I won't beat him up too bad on it. But, I mean, it is what it is. And, I mean, I just scratched the surface here. I haven't tore into anything else on the top. Uh, but... I suspect it'll be uh, more of the same up there. The wiring is all screwy because they got a light bar and underglow lights and everything. And we're looking for re re reliability on this model. We're not looking for performance. It's just a 500. So anyway, uh, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. And um, let me know if you guys want that, um, want that checklist. I hope you guys have a good day. God bless.